Hey everyone, it is so hard to believe that it's already mid-year. And I know that this has been a tough year. And it's especially disappointing because at the beginning of the year, I thought that we're out of COVID, 2022 is going to be great. And unfortunately, the world around us didn't move in that direction. That said, I wanted to stop for a moment and celebrate all the achievements we together achieved with Excolibraw, Excolibrain, Visual Thinking and Obsidian. And when I say we, I honestly mean we, because your support, your feedback, your suggestions, and also your financial support, be it regular support or once-off support, means a lot to me. It helps fire my passion for this project. So let's quickly look at all the developments this year. The fourth font was requested by many. Mobile support, including palm rejection for the pen, was something that I think was a game changer for the usability of Excolibur on an iPad. I added all sorts of front matter keys to support Excolibur Automate, to support export features, etc. I made lots of small enhancements. I'm thinking of, for example, the left hand mode with the tray mode or options to auto publish into PNG and SVG, which helps better Obsidian publish support and some others as well. Obsidian has gone through lots of big changes this year. Think of live preview, think of the new pop-out windows in Obsidian 15, or think of shared vault support. All of these required significant work on the Excolidro side. Then the Excolidro.com site has constant improvements as well, and I was busy bringing these in to Obsidian. I'm thinking of the eraser and element locking as two very popular requests, but also there were improvements to sticky notes, to custom colors, and a number of other small things. I also implemented text search in Excolidraw, so you can search for a piece of text and that element is going to be selected. This is a feature, LaTeX support, that I myself do not use frequently, but I heard it from many people, so I went ahead and implemented it. The Excolidraw script engine is now filled with different scripts and many useful features that you can find here. I built Excolibrain in this first half year and it has really changed the way I use Obsidian. I made lots of improvements to Markdown embeds in terms of styling, in terms of support for embedded images. I implemented the custom color palette, which allows you to create as big of a palette as you like. And then I implemented this small feature that when you have an unresolved link in Excolid Raw, if you click on it, you're offered the option to create a markdown or an Excolid Raw file. So all of this, of course, takes a lot of work, which I enjoy because this is a passion project but your support also means a lot to me. So if you want to come along on the journey with me and support me financially as well, please look for the coffee link in the description. I hope to continue this journey in the next half of the year and come with a similarly busy chart at the end of the year. And in the meantime, please share your feedback, share your thoughts, help me make Excolidraw the best visual PKM tool there is. Thank you.